Hello! After a ridiculously long hiatus, welcome back to Strange Little Stories. Uh, I'm James Webster, and I'd like to read you a poem this time. It's called Skater Boy Redux, and it's about a song, you might be able to guess which one, that means quite a lot to me. He was a boy. She was a girl. Can I make it any more obvious? Actually, I probably can, because there's plenty that girls and boys can do besides boning. And honestly, I'd be phoning it in if I let that particular heteronormative assumption stand. And so let's try that again. He was a boy. She was a girl. He had a confusing teenage crush. But through the mush of adult attraction, he felt the germination of a connection. He was a punk. She did ballet. What more can I say? Except that their diverse interests, while indicative of the social chasm that divided them, were the opposite of irreversible. For he found a grace in his skateboard-related tumblings that was reminiscent of a falling angel. While she, when on point, was totally on the point and could put so much fuck you swagger into a pirouette that even the Ramones and Jagger would agree she represents. He wanted her. And she'd frequently tell him that she just wanted to be friends. All of her friends, they said, at ahem, we have some issues with this nice guy TM. He was a skater boy. She said, see you later, boy. They were both weighed down by hormones, expectations, and the ridicule of their peers. She had a pretty face, and that's all people usually cared about. And he was no exception. At first. But the song gets one thing right. Her head was off in space, among the dance of cosmic atoms mapped out in her science textbooks, and the pulp sci-fi novels that she devoured. And perhaps it was that starry optimism that led her to see there was more to the skater boy than met the eye. See, he was a skater boy. She said, see you later, boy, for they'd agreed to meet later for tea, where they exchanged books and talked about Star Trek, and for a moment were more than just a girl and a boy. Five years from now, she sits at home, feeding the baby that she and her wife Joyce adopted by choice. She turns on TV, and what does she see but her best friend from school rocking up MTV. And he looks so happy. And she sees herself reflected in the eyes of her wife, and she looks so happy. He was a skater boy. She said, see you later, boy. She'll be backstage after the show. And she'll embrace the skater boy. Because she's so thrilled the two of them are friends. This is not how the story ends. They both have so much story left to tell.